A couple months ago, I went over to LA with my mom and sister and packed up my LA apartment that I had had for about two years. And it was crazy to go over there and realize I was leaving. You know, I had a lot of lonely times and a lot of damage to my mental health while I was over there. So it was nice to be able to go and make some last good little memories there while knowing I'm starting a new chapter at the University of Arizona to be close to my family and my sister and best friend. So it was time to hit the road, pack up, and it was time for college. All right, everybody, we are about to head out to go pick up the U-Haul and load everything from the storage unit that we put there a couple months ago. All the stuff from my LA apartment is there. We are gonna go and put it back in a U-Haul truck, drive it to our house, and then in the morning, we're going to drive it to Tucson and put it in the house. So if you don't know, or if you haven't watched my college announcement, I'll be living in the dorm with my best friend, but for times when I need to be working and to be closer to my sister and have a place to park my car, I will be having the back house to my sister's senior house. So it's a two bedroom, it's literally perfect for what I need to have my office and extra space, and I'm super, super grateful that I'm able to have that in do both. The dorm was an experience that was really important to me with going to school, so I wanted to make both happen. So today we're going to be getting the back house situated, and then obviously we'll move into the dorm and have all that. So I'm gonna go downstairs. A little worried because I just got two shots today in both arms, and I can barely lift, so I'm not sure how helpful I'm gonna be. It's also very hot, but I'm gonna do my best. So let's go. <laughs> seek in here. You can literally get lost in here but play an amazing game of hide and seek. Aww. It's gonna be so much work. Couch, got the chairs. What was this? It's that table that goes Oh, right. Like Alright, let's do it. Woo! Okay. Sorry. to grab the last box and then dad's gonna drive this home and I'm a little worried about that. They call me Mr. Tibbs. I can see Kara. <laughs> oh God, Ellie! That just saw my heart. I'm sorry, it looked like a snake. That was terrible. I like that. Go. Goodness. Oh my gosh. It looks so different without anything in it when we when we saw it. Wow. So cute. So here's the little living room. We'll have the TV, bedroom number one. Oh, this one's huge. I love the kitchen. And then the bathroom, I think, is so cute. It's huge. Look how cute. And the shower. And then I feel like the bedroom that I'm going to want to put my bed in is probably this one. Like this one. And then, oh my gosh, this closet. Amazing. Wow. I'm thinking this one will be the bed and then this one will be like the little office area in here. And then the cute little kitchen. I love it. It's literally perfect. We have a lot to do now and my dad is headed down the highway to us in the U-Haul. So I'm going to start getting things situated. We're also looking at errands right now because this is the back house to where my sister's living. So it's just so exciting. Oh my god, it's so hot. It literally feels like I just moved Erin into this apartment. Like I sat in this exact spot when we first came for her junior year and moved her in, but now we're both moving to like the same little area. It's just, it's crazy. I waited so long to be in college and feel like I didn't have to say bye to her. And so it's so nice knowing that now that I'm moving, there's no goodbye. It's like I'm with her. I mean, there's gonna be another goodbye, which I don't even wanna think of right now, saying bye to my family, but I'll at least have her and she'll have me. They are just officially dropping off the keys 
and then we're gonna go over. It is currently 115 degrees. It's terrible. It's so much harder moving when you're in this miserable heat. My dad just arrived with the U-Haul, so we're gonna go over and unpack it and not set it up today, but just kind of leave everything because we have things to get home to, and then we'll come back another day in August and set it up. Dad has arrived. <laughs> Taking out the whole tree. Oh god. Because he wanted to back in and I thought he was going to go right there. It's so hot. This is literally the worst, worst time of year. July, August, terrible. And we're right in the sun, middle of the day, trying to do this. Oh jeez. Taking off the whole branch, buddy. He's gonna be in a terrible mood, guys. This is not good. This is too much. We got a lot to do. I just cranked the air down because it was 86 in here and it's 115 outside. It's so freaking hot. Got this bowl that's so good. I'm literally been going there every single day next year. Mm. Everything is officially in the house. We're gonna come back in a couple weeks to set it all up because it's just too much today. So I will see you guys in a couple weeks. Good morning, everybody. It is exactly a month later and one week from move-in. Today's Saturday. What day is it today? It's Saturday, August 8th. We move in Saturday, August 15th. And the back house is a complete mess right now. We literally threw everything down when we went down earlier this month. And we have a lot of work to do today down there because next week we definitely want to focus more on the dorm and not the back house. Mom, Aaron, and I are taking the trip down today. <laughs> All right, let's go. Bro, there's no way I'm going to fit in here. There's so much stuff and this is literally the first run. Okay. 95% of this is Aaron's stuff so I promise most of the stuff you saw on the moving truck is mine. The only thing is this little table thing because we're going to actually make the second room in the back house because I've been trying to figure out what to do with it. I'm going to make it a little gym so that way I can safely work out and I have this really amazing company that's helping me out with a cycling bike and I'm looking for a treadmill on Craigslist so I'm really excited about that so we got this stand to put like a little TV on and make it a little workout room. Back and it is hot in here. Oh my god, I need to turn the AC on. It is 101 degrees in here right now. I want to show you the mess that we're walking into here and how much we have to do. Kind of just threw everything in here like last month, and we need to get this mattress out of here and the old headboard. Yeah, there's a lot to do in here. This is gonna be the workout room. I'm so excited about this. I'll explain more about that later, but the little living room area, a lot to do here. Then here's the bedroom. So definitely got a lot to do, but okay, yeah, we got a lot to do. So let's start the ball. Setting up this couch took way longer than it should have. It was so hard getting the cushions back in because we got them dry clean because I had so many coffee stains on it. But this little area is coming together nicely. They left the lights in here, which is really nice. And then I'm just getting the little blanket area here, but so far, so good. The kitchen is coming along so nicely. Basically, I bought these at Ikea for super, super cheap, and I thought it'd be fun to fill them with water and have this be kind of where I keep my cold water in the fridge. I hate peeling off stickers on certain material or like, I don't even know how to describe it, like putting your nail in a car, I literally get chills. Like I hate it like this and peeling it. Ugh. We got a very empty fridge right now. I have these little collagen shots, these protein mint chocolate chip bars, and some more collagen water. And then I got these at Ikea to put some berries in for when I'm meal prepping on the weekend. As for the kitchen, we're definitely making some progress. This is literally my favorite stuff ever. I have a bunch of this for the dorm. These are the easiest little snack when you just need some protein to put on like bread. I can literally eat this like raw just because it's so good. So I have both of those there and then the Keurig, but I don't use it a whole lot 
out because I do iced coffee. I have my chia seeds and my tea right here. You probably recognize a lot of the stuff from LA, but I have my 15 minute vegan cookbook. I got it urban and then this reusable grocery bag, my toaster oven. We have all the bowls, dishes, paper towels, all my spices from LA and my Nutribullet up there for smoothies. And then we have these pans here on a Lazy Susan. So nice and organized. The bathroom is also coming along great here. I just put this champagne toast candle that I got from Urban and then this plant. I forget where I got this, but I thought that looked really cool together. I just think this bathroom is so cool. I have my butterfly shower curtain back here. So this brand is my favorite kind of gluten-free pasta. It is the Bonza. They reached out to me on Instagram and wanted to send me some for school. So I am set here. I'm going to put them here and I literally love these. I'm so excited. <laughs> Woke up at 11 o'clock, I ain't got no We are taking a little break here to get our favorite thing ever, our Berry Divine Bowls. But we mainly have the kitchen done, the bathroom done, and we're just getting started on the rooms. We got the old mattresses taken out. Still have a lot of work to do, but the good news is it's gonna get cooler here as the day goes on, so hopefully it will be a little easier. I'm so excited for Berry Divine, I love it. Literally so good. I get the Sedona Bowl with coconut oil drizzle. Mm. I'm gonna be here every day next year. I have the coolest post posters here from Posterfy that I want to make into like a huge collage wall. Well, I don't know where to put it. This wall is empty, but then there's also like a really big empty wall in here. I am obsessed with this. Oh my gosh. I kind of want to get a couple more rows, maybe. I don't know if it would be too much. I feel like this fits pretty well. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. She's Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see it. Were they supposed to not be straight? Oh, which ones aren't straight? I would put a smaller one there. Oh my, my gosh. gosh. I'm obsessed with this. We are officially wrapping up for the day and we literally got so much done. I'm so proud of us girls. Obviously there's still a lot left to do, but our dad is coming down next weekend with us and he's gonna help hang everything while I move into the dorm. I know it's super confusing, but it's what works for me and it just makes sense. But I'm really excited because I didn't really have to buy anything since I had all of this in LA. So let me show you. So over here, this is from Dormify. I'm just gonna print out some pictures this week to hang on there. I have this wall of lights that I'm gonna hang up on this bare wall. And then I need the headboard obviously hung for the bed. And then I'm bringing a nightstand down next week. We all remember these lovely shelves from LA. So I just put these up there. And then the iconic mirror. And then just some random stuff to hang once my dad's here. Closet, very, very empty right now. I did not bring like any clothes. And then I'm gonna hang like purses on that. I have my shoes. And then out here, this all looks really, really good. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. We're gonna hang the mirror right there. I'm actually not gonna have the TV in here. We're gonna do the TV. And this room, which is going to be transformed into a fitness room right now, it is quite the opposite and I hate lighting like that. So I'm buying so much more of these lights because it's just so orange. And why is that fan going so fast? And then I love, love the kitchen and the floor. I think it's so, so cute. And I also love this little area. I'm so proud of myself because I hung all of these, but my aunt made me a cute little graduation gift. So it came in this little basket. I decided to put it here with a plant and my matcha candle. And then I have my picture from Italy right there. And then those from Urban. Bathroom is literally my favorite part. Like, look at this. There's gonna be so many videos. I've been here also watch how bright this gets because the sun sets over here. I also look rough right now. It's been a long day. I think I'm gonna end this here though. Um, I'm not sure what else you'll see. If you want like a full house tour, I guess, let me know and I can make that like an intricate video. If not, thank you for watching up to this point. Not sure when I'll see you, but it will be some point. Hello everybody. I am going to end this video here. It's a couple days later. I was gonna just make this a part of the dorm video, but I realized how much I filmed and I thought it'd be fun to show you the whole real college process. It's definitely been a couple month long process, but but thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. The organization I wanna talk about in this video, I absolutely love. One of you messaged it to me and it's called Girls Who Start. And it's all about empowering female entrepreneurs. And I think that is absolutely amazing. And I will have the link to that down below for you to check out. I think it's so, so cool. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next weekend. Mwah, bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.